Hello everyone, welcome to another Friday product post here at SparkFun Electronics. We've got a few things to talk about and a really cool demo, so let's start with these two things. These are WS2812B LEDs. You're probably very familiar with these. These are the same LEDs that are going to be found in um, the addressable LED strips and any type of addressable RGB LED. What do those words mean? Addressable RGB LED. RGB stands for red, green, blue, which means it is three LEDs in one that you can um, change the brightness essentially of each one of the red, the green, and the blue, and you can then form any color that you want. Addressable means that you can talk to the LED individually and set those levels, and you can daisy chain a bunch of these together, and you can essentially tell it which LED you want to talk to. So if you have 10 LEDs, you can talk to the fifth one specifically, or the fourth one, the third one, whatever, and it allows you to address each LED individually, therefore allowing you to create patterns and like chasing and you know having each one light up on its own. We have this in a very simple breakout board form that goes like that and um, you can see the pins on each side. You can actually daisy chain several of them together and we also have the bare LED right there in a strip of 10. And it is a surface mount component which means you will have to solder it directly to some kind of board, but we do have lots of surface mount tutorial videos that you can check out on our website. Next up, we've got a new breakout board for the Electric Imp. For those of you familiar with the Electric Imp, it is a uh, Wi-Fi development platform board thing in the form factor of an SD card. And we have had that on the website for a little while now, and the SD card kind of fits into the socket on the breakout board. Now we have this new format where it's an SMD module, so instead of having to buy the breakout board and then also you know, the SD card and fitting them together, we have this all on one board. The Electric Imp has this really interesting cloud-based programming to where you can just kind of go onto the cloud, tell what devices are connected, and then you can have them do various functions based on the programming on the cloud. We have a really interesting video that we did a while back with Jim. If you want to know more about how the Electric Imp gets programmed and all the features behind it, this is just the new SMD version. This is very similar to the other breakout we have. It just has the module included right there. Next up, we have a product that I don't actually have in front of me, but you know what? Nathan, our CEO, does. So I'm gonna let him talk about it. This is the SparkFun Speed Trap, a project to demonstrate the large digit driver. So we have a custom board that's attached to the red board that's reading the long distance rangefinder, the LiDAR, that's then outputting to this two seven segment display. So on the back of these two seven segment displays, we have the large digit driver backpack that allows us to control these two digits using just three pins. What we do is we take the distance. So as you run towards the display, we get various mile per hour readings. And the, the kind of fun thing is to run at it as fast as you can and see if you can hit 15 miles an hour. You can see all the handprints on the wall from people taking a run at the wall. <laughs> Classic Nate. Next up, we have a new timing pulley. And that's what it looks like. This is a 15 tooth timing pulley, which replaces the old 16 tooth timing pulley that we have. It has a quarter inch bore and it is designed for an XL timing belt. What is a timing pulley and what is a timing belt? There are a couple different types of pulleys out there. There is a smooth bore pulley, which uses just a smooth belt. It kind of looks like a um, O-ring. It's just a round belt. Then there is also a V-belt pulley, which you know just kind of looks like that. You might find it on like a drill press or you know some power tools, table saws, things like that. And then there is a timing pulley. The difference with a timing pulley is it has these kind of um, grooves in the surface and it, they're these um, trapezoidal profiles basically and the belt mates along with those so you actually kind of get the grip of a chain but you also get the flexibility and the ease of use that you get from a rubber belt. So it is kind of a little bit of the best of both worlds. 
We do have a um, full video that we did a while back on the Robotics 101 that tells you everything about power transfer. Kind of talks about chains, pulleys, gears, and all that stuff. So you might want to check that out if you're more interested in power transmission. These are some of the new products we have for this week. As always, we have more new products on the website. So if you want to check that out, sparkfun.com. You can see everything else that is there to offer. And we'll see you again next week with even more new products.